God damn. This is like every time I do this, y'all, it be like forever, bruh. You know? But I promise y'all, man. I, I promise y'all, man. Like, like for real. Like, I'm really trying to get this going. Just like a lot of things, man. Just got to work with people. Work with myself. If you get what I'm saying. You know what I mean? But um, I ain't going to hold nobody day up long, like I always say. And if you're um, looking at this, comment on the bottom. Let me know how your day, night, morning, evening, whatever. Whenever time this is you, that you watching it. So say like, say like, oh, 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 I'm finna watch Skip Miami. Ooh. And it's like 2 o'clock, you look, and it's like 2 o'clock a.m. Then comment, I'm like, yeah, I'm feeling this how I've been feeling all day or this how I'm feeling at this moment. Like, you might just forget about that whole day, how it happened, because in the first two days, you feel me? Life resets like that. I ain't going to really say so much, but yeah. But, um, we're getting into this video. And, um, as y'all see, y'all boy, so let's get to it. First on four, terrifying moments inside of a local church during Sunday services. A man walks up to the pastor with a gun and allegedly... <laughs> the Thankfully, that gun... Hey! Man, the man that First on four, terrifying hey. moments inside of a local hey. church during hey. Sunday services. A man walks up to the pastor with a gun and allegedly pulls the trigger. <laughs> apparently jammed. And the man Whoa. First on four, terrifying moments inside of a local church during Sunday service. Sorry, y'all. The man walks up to the pastor with a gun and allegedly pulls the trigger. Thankfully, that gun apparently jammed and the man was being tackled to the ground. You're watching all that unfold on your screen. And now on your screen, we're getting our first look at the suspect, 26-year-old Bernard Polite. Adding to the investigation, police say a body was found in his home. Here's Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Ava Rash with all the details. A man is now Please tell us. After police say he tried to. Everybody look at that man. I don't, cause I'm not. I don't. Care. I ain't gonna say I don't care, but that's fucked up. So I want y'all to look at that for a minute. Start new, um, try some new things. You know what I'm saying? It's trying to spice some, spice this channel up. You feel me? I'm not trying to keep the current. I love y'all current people. You feel me? People that still here rocking with me, but it's time to, you know. But Pennsylvania, North, Brad Dark. Now who all stay there? If you stay there, what's up? And do you know this person? And most of y'all probably do. This guy right here. I'm gonna let this play, man. I'm gonna let this. Was I'm gonna found let this play. In his home. Here's and the reason why, all right, all right, I'm gonna get an explanation why. The reason why I stopped it, and, and you know what I'm saying, showed y'all the first, the face, and the place, is because. Y'all gotta know where y'all putting y'all space at. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all gotta know who y'all surrounded in. That's what I'm really saying there. Like, you really gotta be conscious who you really put deal with in yeah, and, and, and this earth. For real. Especially in this country. Oh, boy. And then it's like the same thing to everybody. Area, but some places is cooler than other. Like, it's mid. And it's like levels. It's levels to this shit for real. Real talk, you know. I think y'all people really got it though, but the people who don't, that's what I'm talking to. So the people who don't, don't think, don't take it offended if you already know you know. But if you take it as like you feel me, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Just let me stay sharp, cause you know sometimes we do have the moments like, damn, maybe I'm. Uh, for it, let me put the field down a little bit, and nah, I don't do that. But let's go. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Ava Rash with all the details. A man is now in custody after police say he tried to shoot a pastor in the middle of the sermon and just hours later a body was found in that suspect's home. In God they chose. Jesus. 
Chilling moments caught on Jesus Dwelling Place Church's live stream yesterday as a gunman walks right up to Pastor Glenn Germany. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't try to throw Jesus. That's crazy. Just because I know it's church, but like, you feel me? Don't try to use that. Pulls out a gun to, and tries to, to shoot yeah, him. Right. By some miracle, the gun jammed. I'm thankful no, to God right. that I'm still here because he definitely pulled the trigger. They had a male come in yeah. and confront the pastor with yeah. a firearm. Patrons currently yeah. have the male held down and the firearm away from him. Clarence no, the pastor, no. the church deacon and cameraman. And that's that same day it happened. Jump into action. In that he same suit. I'm just grateful that, you know, God seen it, that nobody got hurt. Especially when the guy had the gun pointed directly at his head. Police identified yeah, the gunman as Bernard yeah, Polite from Braddock. According to the criminal complaint, Polite told investigators God told him to shoot Pastor Germany and he wanted to go to jail to clear his mind. That's when the story takes a turn. Just hours later, around 8, the Eastern Regional Valley Police Department was called to the 500 block of Stokes Avenue for a man shot. According to the medical examiner, Derek Polite, who neighbors say is related to Bernard, was found dead inside the home. Investigators say Bernard also lived in that. Damn, home. never nothing bad. So that's what I'm saying. Like that's what I'm saying, bro. Like y'all gotta really watch who y'all be around, bro. Like y'all really see. I ain't even. I ain't even watch this, bro. Everything I watch with y'all, bro. I promise you. If you made this far, you gonna hit some like, subscribe. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And um, comment in the bottom. Let me know how you. You feel me? But anyways, like I was just saying though, like in the beginning of the video, um. You got to really, in the beginning of the video, man, like I was just saying, like, you got to really watch our surroundings, basically, man. You can't just be around just everybody, man. And you, yeah, you cool with everybody, you know what I'm saying? The gangsters, the nerds, the emos, the whatever, race, whatever, whatever it may be. Blue, white, purple, black, Hispanic, white, Mexican, black, Caucasian, Blazing, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter. Like you just gotta really watch where you be around. And most people don't really be around. Like most people you find in the country be cool. Like hey, I'm telling you, bro, people in the other country be really cool, but not all the time. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say all the time. Right. Nothing but bad has it. ever happened in that home. Never. No domestic violence. No fights. No violence went out that we know of that we could ever have heard. By this time, it's a Neighbors were shocked at the turn of events, none of it making any sense. Benjamin Jordan, who lives right next door, says the two were always nice and there were never issues. <laughs> you hear me? I hope it ain't Bernard. That's all. I just hope it ain't him that did that because he was just such a nice guy and also. He just woke up one day and was like, you know what I'm saying? Or hit that wrong. Somebody gave him the wrong and they lead him to the wrong thing. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and lead us to what what I got me reaction to right now. You hear me? So yeah. And That's while crazy. neighbors have a lot of questions, at this point, no charges have been filed against Bernard in connection to Derek's death. Bernard didn't seem like that type of guy, but the evidence is looking at him. I mean, it looked like it, it's him, but I don't know. I can't really say. I'm just hoping and praying it wasn't. And Polite was denied bond. He's now at the Allegheny County Jail. For now, <laughs> all right, but I don't want to be, you know, now reporting in North Braddock. Oh, Ava Rash, Pittsburgh talk. Action News 4. But, um, uh, he know, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, it's like, bro, it's like, it's like, you don't want to believe it, bro. It's like, you like, it's, it's like somebody tell you. This person is fake. Well, this person gonna do this to you. Everybody around you telling you that, bro. But you just like, nah. But you know it. You, 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 you. Sometimes some people, some people be like, yeah, yeah, all right. For sure, I hear you. Like, oh, man, I'm taking it in. You got three people. I'm going to take it in and then see how I play out. Then you got the other person who's going to be like, nah, all right, for sure. He's going to take it in then cut it all off. And then you got the third person who's going to just not hear it and then still rock with it. Then going to deal with it, but not how to deal with it. There's really four people. So he's going he gonna to rock with it and really deal with it. You know what I'm saying? He gonna, 
it's gonna happen to him and then he gonna you feel me spaz it out let him know how it is but he gonna still deal with him then you got that other person which i was really trying to explain the, what i was explaining before this person is he they gonna you feel me they gonna nah he don't care so, oh well you just be what it is they hear you they feel you and it happened to him and they just don't care so man you know what i'm saying just not really watch out from the people with like yeah, man. I am me out, man. I just say all of that before I leave. You feel me?